It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Rona Art Family. Today, I got a request for um, someone to do a tutorial on understanding grayscale. So, in general, when you're working with grayscale, you want to stick with these strands of uh, of black to white. So you may want to stick with this strand of dark, or this these strands of gray, or these strands of white. Generally, you're sticking to you know an individual st strand or you know or you're blending these strands together to create the, the grayscale so to get more into it uh, i sometimes use grayscale for skies and for you know oceans sometimes not all the time and uh this for example here i use uh grayscale for the sky here and for this ocean land here and for this part here which is you know located in, in space and uh these are the only uh um the only things i use grayscale on other than that i use i generally use uh screen tones most of the time and you can tell the difference between grayscale and screen tones when you like zoom in and you can see this this hatching mark on whatever the screen tone is applied into and so as opposed to if you were using this grayscale here it's it's just a a transition a blend between dark and and, uh, and white sometimes and sometimes it's just one strand and how i do this is that you have to play with the hue and saturation now for 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 the skies i'm going to give you guys an example of, as to what i do here and so this is uh one of the uh the layers that i have here so um if you if you want to you can go to you know clip studio and go to the gradient tool and then you can select any of these gradients here and uh whatever you prefer etc but first let me just make a uh, a new layer here and okay so i'm going to make this gradient and at first it's going to be in color but now i'm going to transition this into a grayscale so i'm going to go to edit and tonal tonal corrections and then hue saturation lumosity and then i'm going to decrease the saturation to uh to uh you know to negative 100 and then now you can see this uh, this transition uh the transition is not as well but you can you know continuously just play around with uh your transitioning for when you're using the grayscale tool and everything will be all right and so this is pretty much the the basis of what i the only thing i use grayscale for in my comic and eventually i will have a i will have copic copic comic pages and then i'll use grayscale for them and I'll, i'm just going to show you a little bit of converting a colored image into grayscale in photoshop and so i'm going to go in here and this is one of my characters avax and uh um i'm going to just start over again by deleting these layers and so okay this is the this is the only image that's there and so what you want to do is come to the, the layer adjustments right here and then go to hue hue and saturation like i did in clip studio the main key is to focus on decreasing the hue and saturation into you know negative 100 whatever software you're using just decrease it the saturation to negative 100 to get that the grayscale look and if you want to get even more fancy you can uh make another layer of hue and saturation and you know put yeah, make another layer of hue and saturation and then put that second layer, that new layer of hue and saturation below that uh, previously old layer of hue and saturation and then change the uh, go to normal. You'll see this tab that says normal and as you click on normal, you want to go to uh, lum lumosity and then you can just play around with, with, with uh, saturation here to see, you know, to get it uh, the way you want it. I guess if you want to get fancy but you know generally you can just stick with one hue and saturation and, and just stick uh, decrease it down to negative 100 and so to give some examples again I use a uh, hue and saturation for the sky etc to give some examples of, of other people's artwork this is by JW Design Center on Newgrounds and 
as you can see here the the artist use you know he he's using he's shading with grayscale grayscale so he's not just using he's not the person the artist is not just using a uh one strand of grayscale the artist is using multiple strands of grayscale you know and that comes down into you know understanding how to shadow understanding how to shade you know but generally uh when you're converting it to grayscale uh just you know uh go down to the hue and saturation go yeah you just decrease the hue and saturation and if you're uh just working with grayscale without uh, having a, a color foundation then you may want to have an understanding of, of, of shadowing or so or just you you may want you may want to uh, also uh, if you're looking to look for a uh, if you're looking to make a basic form like uh, with with one strand of grayscale this is a another comic and everything will be in the link below hold on Everything will be in the description below in this YouTube video. So there's another, hold up. Okay, so this is a, another comic that's made by two people and everything will be in the description below. And so as you can see, this person, uh, the the grayscale is just one strand of grayscale. It's not any uh, complicated, uh, you know, shadowing or anything like that. It's just one strand. And this, this is usually the, the strand that I do for when I'm using, uh, you know, when I'm using my screen tones, but just compare this grayscale thing into like a, uh, you know, to screen tones because, you know, screen tones in general, uh, when you're applying screen tones traditionally, it's difficult to have that gradient look unless you're applying it digitally. Because if you're applying it digitally, that's when you can start to use the soft brush tool to like soften up the, the colors a little bit to have that gradient look to it if you're doing it digitally. So that's something to uh, also just uh, keep in mind. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Thaidu for the suggestion. And if you guys have any more videos, any more uh, tutorials or anything you'd like me to speak about or any advice feel free to leave so in the comments below peace out